Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Union High School here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi, everybody. Sam Gelfand here. So excited to be bringing you this contest between the visiting Broken Arrow Tigers and your Union Red Hawks. It's been a long time since these two teams have faced off in this gym. It's been since 2019, actually. But of course, the last time that these that Union actually beat Broken Arrow was just two years ago. That was in the UMAC, though. Things have changed quite a bit since then. Only one way to find out how this game will shake out. But there are plenty of key players that we have to look at during this game, starting, of course, with Union. Let's face it, it's the Brittany Smith Show. The past two broadcasts we have had here, she has put up over 20 kills each time. She is a true leader of this team, and Broken Arrow's head coach, Ian Bullen, told me before this game, our entire game plan revolves around stopping her. Only one way to find out if they'll be able to. Now, for Broken Arrow, there is one player who it's so often that we talk about in sports, we talk about people being heroes. We talk about them overcoming insurmountable odds. But for Bella Krebs, number 15 on the court for Broken Arrow, she has truly done that. In just her second game back today, over the summer, she was diagnosed with mononucleosis, visiting family in Florida. Her spleen ruptured. She had several emergency surgeries. She had 76 pints of blood transfused into her. She was ventilated against all odds. She survived, and she is on the court today. And I think it's safe to say that on behalf of everyone here at Union High School, we sincerely congratulate Bella Krebs and wish her the best, as it's just amazing that she is here joining us today. I've been told by Coach Bullen that she may not be starting today, but he is certainly hopeful that she'll be able to get some playing time. Only one way to find out, though, and we'll find out in just a few minutes as we'll be right back after the starting lineups and national anthem. Sam Gelfand here for the Union Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. If you'll please join me for the national anthem. Number two, Lily Boswell. Number four, Alea Owen. Number five, Caitlin Standifer. Number six, Grace Marshall. 
Number eight, Lauren Harm. Number nine, Jordan Garner. Number 11, Jayla J.F. Tarver. Number 15, Bella Kreb. Number 17, Reagan Holt. Number 19, Avery Jones. 21, Maddie Torelli. 29, Candace Buck. 30, Jasmine Bell. Number 33, Maddie Blackburn. Number 43, Emerson Meter. Number 66, Brooklyn Cahill. And now, for your Red Hawks, starting varsity volleyball team, number one, Bailey Mueller. Number two, Naomi Portley. Number three, Cadence Christopher. Number four, Jane Smith. Number five, Macy LeBeau. Number 19, Marissa Moritz. Brindy Smith. Number 12, Allie Thompson. Number 13, Sarah Iron. Number 18, Maya Sanger. Number 21, J.L. Williams. Number 24, Haley Owen. Number 25, Alaya Carter. Number 26, Courtney Kincaid. Number 28, Maddie Federline. It's just about game time. As the teams cheer and the fans join them, Sam Gelfand here for the Union Sports Network. On paper, this might be a bit of an uphill battle for the Hawks as the Broken Arrow Tigers are 9-6 on the season, the Red Hawks 6-10. But I was speaking with Red Hawks head coach Chad McKee before this game, and he says that this record might actually be a little bit misleading. He says that, if anything, it just shows how tough of a schedule Union has faced this season. And that strength of schedule has been the real determination when it comes to how this season has shaken out. He says that come regionals time, it'll really pay off for this team. He pointed out Sand Springs in particular is a team that is ranked because they have a better record than Union does, but they have not faced opponents as tough as the Red Hawks have. Broken Arrow, of course, by any measure, a tough opponent. We are just about ready to get set and started here. Broken Arrow will be the first to serve, and it'll be the libero, Avery Jones, who gets things started. We are underway with a soft serve and an ace. That's how you want to start off a game. This time, Union on top of it, but blocked at the net. That's Macy LeBeau who keeps things going. Punched over by Haley Owens. Now broken arrow on offense. Sent over by Lily Boswell. Sent sky high. LeBeau out to Haley Owens. Dug by the Tigers, and Boswell gets it past LeBeau. Already so much competition on the court. They're already evenly matched, and you can see how high quality this play is. We're expecting a good one here tonight. Jones keeps serving, and Brittany Smith gets her first of what will assuredly be many kills. Now, 
Allie Thompson will be the first to serve for Union. The junior varsity call-up who is, without a doubt, the best server on this team as Thompson digs. And Owens gets it past the blockers. Haley Owens, the sophomore, taking a central role in the early goings here. Thompson serves again. Torelli sets it up. And it's hit by Grace Marshall. Now the sophomore Boswell serves. And Bailey Mueller sends it over. And Mueller did everything she could, but it was not enough. Grace Marshall with yet another kill. That's two in a row. LeBeau digs, but sends it right out. So now Broken Arrow will continue to serve. Lily Boswell just skips it over the net. Thompson digs. Smith to Smith and dug by Boswell. Marshall sends it over. Mueller, Smith, and Brittany Smith doesn't have enough on it this time. Tried to measure her power, but undercooked it and sent it into the net. LeBeau takes the serve, and Brittany Smith does what she does best. Now it's Haley Owens who will serve. She has a serving percentage of 86.8 this season. Set up by the libero for Torelli, and Thompson pushes over the free ball. Boswell up at the net, blocked by Smith, but it makes its way over anyway. Looks like that was Candace Fuchs up at the net. So the Tigers keep serving. LeBeau sends it over. Not often you see her send one over. That's not really her position. As Thompson gets a one-handed dig, sent up and over by Mueller. Soft touch. Jaden Smith, Thompson, Mueller blocked at the net. Brittany Smith. And Jaden Smith does that so well. She has done that multiple times this season using the free ball instead of setting up for another kill. And she gets the kill herself. She has great court awareness. That's the kind of thing that you really can't teach as Brittany Smith serves into the net. A fast-paced start to this game for sure as Reagan Holt now will serve for the Tigers. Thompson cannot get to it, and Holt has an ace. That's two already for the Tigers. And Chad McKee will take a timeout as his team is coming out in a funk. Against a team like Broken Arrow, you have to come out swinging, but they have not been able to do that so far. Of course, it's been a rough schedule for them. Their last game was on the second in Orlando a tournament where they took on some of the best teams in the country. They lost 2-0 to a team from Central Heights, Texas. They went 3-4 and four during the tournament, and when I say that they took on teams from all over the country, I mean all over the country. One of the teams that they played was from South Anchorage, Alaska. Can't imagine what the airfare must have been to Orlando for them. I know for a fact it's at least two flights. Actually, no, I think one airline is flying direct from Tulsa to Orlando now. I think they just started doing that like a year ago. But 
But even a few days later, five days later, it takes a while to shake off the jet lag. And clearly they're still out of it as Matty Blackburn. Excuse me, Reagan Holt gets a second ace. So Smith sets up Mueller, blocked to the net, pushed over by Smith. And on the other side, that's Matty Torelli, the 5'9 senior. Broken Arrow head coach Ian Bullen told me before this game that this is a team that will attack from the sides. Watch their outside hitters and right side hitters. They're going to be the focal points of their offense. As Bailey Mueller sends it off the hands and well into the crowd. Boy, was that a lot of power. Jaden Smith now to serve. Smith, LeBeau, Mueller. Dig by Jones. Setting up now for Harms. That goes the Red Hawks' way. That's the first we're seeing of Lauren Harms, who leads this team in kills per game with an average of 7.4. Excellent dig by Maddie Blackburn, but no one got to it, and that's an ace. Jaden Smith now with an ace. And this time, Smith overcooks it, and it goes out of bounds. Union trying to claw their way back, but there's still a sizable deficit. Served by Torelli. Up at the net, and sent over by Courtney Kincaid. Who had good reaction time, but you didn't need to do anything. It went into the net. Owens comes in for Cadence Christopher, who heads back to the bench. A ton of power off of Lauren Harms, but Union survives and sends it over themselves. That's Owens. Jones sets it up. And how far too far? Sent by Lauren Harms. Now Grace Marshall comes on in exchange for Maddie Blackburn, 13-8. Smith sets up Sanger. That's Maya Sanger's first action in this game, and there's too much on it. Goes out. However, they give the point to the Red Hawks on a violation. Now LeBeau serves. And an emphatic kill for Lily Boswell. There are some powerful hitters on this Tigers team. In fact, before this game, I asked Union head coach Chad McKee, what do you like about the Broken Arrow Tigers? And he told me, and I quote, there's a lot to like. For instance, how many aces do they have already? That's the second one for Avery Jones. So Jones serves once again. Set up for Smith, who is successful in defeating the blocks. That's three kills for her. And Thompson checks in to keep serving. Thompson leading the team, averaging an ace and a half per game. Up at the net on the other side, Boswell blocked by Smith. Smith attempts another block. Mueller sets it up for Brittany Smith, a diving dig. And the Tigers keep this one going. Smith.
to Smith, to Smith, on the line and over the line. It had all the makings of a good one until you saw where the ball fell. Now Lily Boswell will serve again. Mueller digs. Jaden Smith to Brittany Smith, tipped by a blocker, but that's a kill for Brittany Smith. Once again, Brittany Smith, the focal point of this offense. Just saw Chad McKee give a little fist bump to his assistant, Darren Thompson. As Jaden Smith sets it up on the other side to Mueller. Off several blockers' hands, Harms couldn't do anything. Bailey Mueller with her second kill. Bailey Mueller, Jaden Smith, Brittany Smith, and Macy LeBeau, really the core four for this Red Hawks squad. Too much on the serve. And a high five to Haley Owens as she goes on to the bench from Chad McKee, but he does shout, come on, as he knows this team could be playing better. Thompson digs. One-handed free ball by Jaden Smith. And yet another kill for the Tigers. The Tigers trying to close this one out quickly. As Thompson digs, Smith sets up Smith off the hand to the blockers. The Tigers have really been on top of Brittany Smith with their blocking game so far today, but they still haven't been able to stop her. So now Sarah Eirich coming in for her fourth game of the season. Serves dug by Jones. And that is inside the lines. Lauren Harms does well with a coloring book. Ira comes off for Smith. Thompson digs out of bounds. And the pendulum of momentum is firmly in the corner of Broken Arrow. Chad McKee calls a timeout, and he does not look happy about it. We're going to step away for a minute. Thank you so very much for joining us here live on the Union Sports Network. Union head coach Chad McKee is clearly not happy with the way his team is playing right now. As it's 20 to 13 in the first set, Broken Arrow has developed a comfortable lead here over the Union Red Hawks. Sam Gelfant here for the Union Sports Network as we are back underway. Reagan Holt serves for the Tigers. Smith sends it to Mueller on the other side, but what a block by Maddie Torelli. Coach Bullen told me the one thing that this team has really tried to do more of this season is block more, and clearly it's working in their favor. Bailey Mueller. A good dig. Skips off the net, and Mueller gets a kill. Now Jaden Smith serves. Dig and a communication error almost sends a player to the other side of the court. LeBeau to Smith. 
And the kill goes to Courtney Kincaid. Kincaid averaging 1.7 kills per game this season, but she's really come out to play in a couple of important spots. Jaden Smith continues to serve. Harms with a sideways dig, sent up by Jones. Harms sends it into the net. At the net, skips over and Jasmine Bell has her first kill of the game. Broken Arrow skips it over the net, that goes out and it's a Union point and now Union trying to string something together. Broken Arrow coach Ian Bullen creeping closer and closer to the sidelines now as Bailey Mueller will serve. Skipped over the net, Bell, desperation dig, Jones sends it up and Boswell over. Owens, LeBeau, and overhead it's Kincaid. And wow, Lauren Harms just sent a rocket across the court. Bailey Mueller went horizontal and had no effect. All she could do was redirect it. Now Grace Marshall serves. Smith sets up for Owens. And B.A. has set point. Smith sends it up, Owens over. Broken Arrow keeps it going. On the other side, Boswell out. And Union not done quite yet. Now for comparison, in their last game, Broken Arrow beat Baldwin's, or Bartlesville three sets to none. Their first set, they won 25 to 12, so Union already doing better than that. And another point for Union as that hits the net. 24-19, and they're scratching and clawing. The Red Hawks using those talons, gripping on for dear life. LeBeau serves. That sent almost into the crowd. And Maddie Torelli somehow able to muster up enough power to get it over. Brittany Smith off the hands of Torelli and racks up another kill, bringing it within four. That is six kills in the first set for Brittany Smith. LeBeau continues to serve. Jones to Boswell, and Jones has to send it over. Mueller, Smith, and you could hear Bailey Mueller on the court saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, she knew it was coming, and what a huge point it was for the Union Red Hawks. Broken Arrow must take a timeout. That is everything that the Red Hawks have needed. They are within three now, still at set point. They're going to have to stay on this run for three more points, but now they've made Broken Arrow use a timeout. And that is a big reversal from what we saw earlier in this game where the Red Hawks were really slow to start. Sometimes it takes just a little bit to warm up, get those wheels spinning like starting a car in the cold. Not that there's any cold here in Oklahoma right now, but the metaphor still applies. Now LeBeau serves. Boswell sets it up off LeBeau's hands, and Broken Arrow finally able to close this one out, but not without difficulty. They take the first set 25-21. We're going to step away and hear from our sponsors now. Thank you so very much for joining us here live on the Union Sports Network. 
organization need athletic apparel or spirit wear let me suggest inkwell a tulsa-based company that can get you the quality you deserve at unheard of and unmatched lead time talking two weeks or less not two months like most others and can do it as much as 60 percent less than most of the big guys out there so join the likes of sam springs union broken arrow jinx ulaga and glenpool to name a few and get your customized sublimated uniforms including under armor nike or adidas at inkwellnation.com at Coldwell Banker Select, we have the group to meet your commercial real estate needs. The Select Commercial Group. David Roberts can answer all your questions relating to the commercial real estate market, your business operations, and real estate budgets. Sarah Ferguson can help you locate the right commercial property to buy, sell, lease, or rent. Scott Job can provide valuable information regarding property values and lease rates. We treat our clients like family. With properties located all over the state, Call us at 918-695-6979. Coldwell Banker Select Commercial Group, proud sponsor of the Union High School Red Hot. When summer heats up and your AC isn't working right, be cautious of being pressured into a replacement. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion, and Airco will let you know if your AC is worth fixing. So call Airco today for a free second opinion. Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. We're athletes. Coaches. And your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors. And we make our home. Our home in green country. Like you, we run. And fish. Hike and bike. We enjoy the mountains and lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians and therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools and more club teams than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. Treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously because authentic ingredients make a sub above. We are already underway with a second set here in Tulsa. Sam Gelfan for the Union Sports Network as there is a two-touch. And it looks like Broken Arrow gets the first point of the set. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. These teams were ready a little Ready to go a little bit quicker than our sponsors would have liked, apparently. Happens sometimes, and now Avery Jones serves. Jones in her fourth year on varsity as a senior. There's a lot of experience on this Tigers squad. As Boswell punches it over, and Naomi Portley did what she could, but it went into the Union bench. Union in a hole, clawed back and made it a 25-21 set in the first set, but they did fall as Brittany Smith, well, well defended by Jones and Portley with the putback. Naomi Portley with a huge block. She can be sent back to the bench happy. Allie Thompson sends it over. 
And Grace Marshall defended by the Red Hawks. Marshall again, LeBeau, Smith. And Brittany Smith varies things up. An amazing dig by Avery Jones keeps this thing going. Jaden Smith, Brittany Smith, you betcha. All but guaranteed. You know, last broadcast of Union Volleyball, we dubbed Brittany Smith a blonde Godzilla. And really, that continues to be apt. She is absolutely unstoppable at the net as she gets a block to boot. We can't even finish singing her praises before she's already getting another point. Dueling digs there by Broken Arrow. Thompson, Smith, and Smith. And an excellent block at the net by Candace Fuchs. Lily Boswell now serves. Thompson digs. And Smith with some misdirection. Broken Arrow. We're wiser, though, and it goes off the hands of the blocker. Aliyah Carter accidentally sent it out of bounds, and Broken Arrow will continue to serve. But hey, it's four to three. They're keeping it close. You know, you look at this game on paper, you might not think it might not be this close. Brittany Smith with yet another kill. Surprise, surprise, who else? You know, we could play this game without numbers, with blindfolds over every player, and as long as the referee's pointing Union's way, I think it's a pretty safe bet to say it was probably Brittany Smith who got the kill. Thompson sends it out. On paper, it may not be this close of a game. Broken Arrow ranked fifth in 6A across Oklahoma. Union ranked 22nd. But there are some things that Union is actually better at than Broken Arrow, as Bailey Mueller gets a kill. For one thing, Broken Arrow doesn't have a Bailey Mueller. And for another, the one thing that the Hawks really have up their sleeve is serving. Union averages almost an entire ace per game more than the Broken Arrow Tigers do. They also have a better serving percentage by about 1.4%. And boy, was that an emphatic kill for Lauren Harms. When she sets up for the hit, you better get out of harm's way. Harm's way, Lauren Harms. Thank, thank you, thank you. If you're curious what's going on at home, every once in a while I look over to our director, Andy Irwin, for approval. When I drop a sick pun, I got nothing this time. Thompson, Smith, and Williams at the net blocked by Jasmine Bell. Now you want to talk about things that one team does better than the other. The blocking game is so heavily weighted against Union tonight. As Bailey Mueller sets it up, there were blocks. Free ball sent over. Smith over to Mueller. Inside the lines gets the kill. But blocking a major concern as the Broken Arrow Tigers average 7.6 blocks per game, Union just 2.9. Jaden Smith serves. Dug by the Tigers all the way out to the outside. LeBeau. Smith sets up Mueller off the hands of Jones. Gets the kill. And with Brittany Smith getting some rest, Bailey Mueller really stepping it up. She is up to six kills in this game. 
There are a lot of leaders on this Union squad as that is lightly put over by Harms. LeBeau digs, Smith over to Portley, too much. Maddie Torelli will serve now. She puts up some real impressive numbers. Five and a half kills per game, 11 and a half assists per game, 8.1 digs per game as well. She's a real focal point of this offense. But Bell sends it in. However, it goes Broken Arrow's way, it seems. In the net. Referee's right in front of me. Couldn't see it. One of these days we're going to take this GoPro we have and we'll strap it to my head and then you'll be able to see everything I see at home. Mueller blocked at the net. Emphatically, Lily Boswell and Jasmine Bell, they both get dual credit. The Tigers really have hops. Torelli serves. Mueller, Smith, out to Mueller, off the hands of Jones. And a big kill for Bailey Mueller. Now Mueller will serve as well. Mueller a 93% serving percentage on the season. That'll lower it. And Lauren Harms will serve for the first time in this game. LeBeau and Carter can't do much with that. Ace for Harms, her first time out. So she'll keep it going. Carter, Smith, Portley blocked at the net off the hands of Smith. And that's a broken arrow point. 14 to 8, that tight scoring column is starting to loosen up a little bit. Broken arrow trying to pull away here. Harms off the hands of Carter. LeBeau keeps it going, and Mueller has to summon up every amount of strength she has. That goes into the netting in the rafters, which separates this gym an event of physical education classes, and that'll prompt a timeout. We're going to step away for a moment, as, man, it is not often that you see that be an environmental hazard in a gym. Sam Gelfand here for the Union Sports Network. We'll see you in 45 seconds. Timeout expires, and the Red Hawks are hoping to stay in this one. It's 15 to 8 in the second set, and they do not want to go down three sets to none. But of course, once you lose that first set, pressure's on you. You're on the back foot. JL Williams hits it well, and it is blocked right into the net. Williams records a kill, and now Macy LeBeau will serve. Coach McKee was telling me before this game that Macy LeBeau really needs some more recognition on this team for what a leader she has been as Grace Marshall gets the kill. LeBeau, he says, she needs recognition not just for her play, but for her positive attitude and her leadership abilities. She's really someone who this team rallies around. Now her not opposing number, but opposing libero, Avery Jones, will serve.
Smith sets up for Smith. And boy, that might be the best one-two punch in the entirety of 6A. Brittany Smith up to 10 kills. Yeah, smile, you've earned it. Thompson serves. It's set up for Marshall over the line and out. Thompson will continue to serve now. Jones, Torelli, Marshall, Dig, Smith, and sent over by Owens. On the other side, Marshall blocked, goes out. B.A. point. The dress-up theme for the Union student section today was camouflage. Clearly, they're very well camouflaged. I can't see them. Bailey Mueller sent over. Jones sends it up. So does Harms. Marshall sends it over. LeBeau, Smith. Brittany Smith varies it up and gets the kill. Lily Boswell was fooled. And not to name and shame, but the student section does seem a little smaller than the last couple of games. I think it's the camouflage. Because, you know, it says wear camouflage as there's a communication error by the Tigers. It says wear camouflage, but that doesn't mean that you have to wear like woodland. Maybe they're camouflaged as the bleachers. Served by Christopher. Poked back over by Smith, Thompson, Smith, and Mueller. Violation. Now, one of the other things that Union is better at than Broken Arrow is they rack up one less ball handling error per game. 0.9 per game for the Red Hawks, 1.9 per game for the Tigers. As there's an ace for Grace Marshall. Grace puts the ace in her first name, and she will get to serve again. After a timeout, as Union will take their second, will step away. These teams ready to play again. And Grace Marshall coming off of an ace. Will try to serve again. Was the kicker sufficiently iced? No, apparently LeBeau digs and Smith can't get to it. So that's two aces in a row for Grace Marshall. Apparently icing the kicker does not work in volleyball at least based on this small sample size. Mueller, Smith, and Smith. That's off a of blocker's hand, so even though that went over the line, that's a kill for Brittany Smith. Smith will come off for Sarah Eyrick, who will serve now. Eirik serves, Jones digs, and up at the net on the other side, Maddie Torelli sends a bullet the Red Hawks' way. Yeah. 
A seven point lead now for the Tigers and that's gonna be a tough gulf to cross. Reagan Holt sends it over. Thompson and Smith with some great heads up playing. Sends over the free ball now. Smith sends it to the other side for Mueller. Smith and Smith with the free ball. That is on the line. That was about as close as close can get, but it goes the Red Hawks way. You're not going to see many people in this gym complain as Jaden Smith now will serve. On the other side, Torelli blocked by Mueller. And it looks like she hit the net. So Maddie Torelli will serve now. Barely makes it over the net. And she gets an ace. Jail Williams wasn't quite quick enough off the bat. So Torelli will do it again. Christopher, Smith, and Mueller. Williams sends it up, past the blocking Williams, and Jasmine Bell gets another kill. Except they send it Union's way. No, they reversed it again. Someone pointed the other way. Set point now. Smith, Mueller, blocked at the net. Great dig by Horns. Smith sets up Kincaid on the other side. It is sent back. There's a violation. So once again, Union refusing to go out with a set point on their first attempt. Billy Mueller. Serves on the 24-16, Jones to Torelli and Smith. Digs it, LeBeau, Mueller. Dig by Blackburn. On the other side, LeBeau keeps things going. Owens sent back. Referees don't look quite sure of themselves. And they give it to Union on a second thought. It was a close call, but Union strings a couple in a row now. Mueller keeps going. That goes out. And Union is now two sets down against the Broken Arrow Tigers. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the start of set number three. Sam Gelfand here for the Union Sports Network. Stick around. Does your school or organization need athletic apparel or spirit wear? Let me suggest Inkwell, a Tulsa-based company that can get you the quality you deserve at unheard of and unmatched lead time. I'm talking two weeks or less, not two months like most others, and can do it as much as 60% less than most of the big guys out there. So join the likes of Sand Springs, Union, Broken Arrow, Jinx, Ulaga, and Glenpool to name a few and get your customized sublimated uniforms, including Under Armour, Nike, or Adidas at inkwellnation.com. At Coldwell Banker Select, we have the group to meet your commercial real estate needs. The Select Commercial Group. David Roberts can answer all your questions relating to the commercial real estate market, your business operations, and real estate budgets. Sarah Bergeson can help you locate the right commercial property to buy, sell, lease, or rent. Scott Job can provide valuable information regarding property values and lease rates. 
we treat our clients like family. With properties located all over the state, call us at 918-695-6979. Coldwell Banker Select Commercial Group, proud sponsor of the Union High School Red Hawks. When summer heats up and your AC isn't working right, be cautious of being pressured into a replacement. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion, and Airco will let you know if your AC is worth fixing. So call Airco today for a free second opinion. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Okay. Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. We're athletes, coaches, and your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors. And we make our home, our home, in green country. Like you, we run, and fish, hike, and bike. We enjoy the mountains, and lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians. And therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments. Are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools. And more club teams than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. Treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Union High School here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're about to start set number three. This could be the final one. As B.A. is up two sets to none, and boy, are comebacks being down two sets to none. Incredibly difficult. Not saying it's impossible, but you don't see him too often. Just think about the amount of pressure that's on. Hey, you can't mess up once. You need to be borderline perfect in order to force a five-set thriller. And neither one of these teams has gone deep often in this season. Set number three is underway. And Courtney Kincaid nearly got something going, steered over by Jones. On the other side, Owens gets past Mueller and a great block of the net. The Tigers, for the third set in a row, take the first point. Now they've won every set that they get the first point on, so could we see that a third time? Historical precedent says yes, but anyone who's taken a science class will say that sample size is way too small. Steered over by Sanger. And that gets past LeBeau. That is inside the lines just barely. Lauren Harms with another kill. By my count, that's five for her. Smith sets it up. Maya Sanger evades the blockers and gets the kill. Maya Sanger changed up her hair since the last time we saw her, by the way. Looks great. Got to imagine the ponytail's got to be easier for sports. And once again, so much power coming off of these hits from Broken Arrow. Believe that was Lauren Harms again. Brittany Smith blocked. Remember, before this game, head coach Ian Bullen told me the entire Broken Arrow game plan revolves around blocking and henceforth stopping Brittany Smith. 
And so far, they've done a good job in doing so. They've held her to just 12 kills. But there's one for the Red Hawks. Thompson will serve now. Of course, head coach Bullen had nothing but good things to say about Brittany Smith, saying she's got a lot of size and a lot of power. He said she's going to be one of the toughest middle blockers that Broken Arrow will face all season. Marshall sent that one over. Now it's Owens on the other side. That is just a few inches over the line. As a player, you hate to see it. Grace Marshall to serve. She already has two aces so far in this game. Thompson digs over the net and sent back. Lauren Harms picks up another. Marshall a serving percentage of 90.2. Thompson, Smith, and Smith comes out of nowhere to trip up the Broken Arrow defense. The Red Hawks staying within three. Since 2018, which is as far back as our records go, the Red Hawks are 6-1 against the Tigers. As LeBeau digs, and that goes nowhere in a hurry. The last time that these two teams played each other in this exact gym, though, August 27, 2019. It's been four years since we saw a contest between these two teams here as Jaden Smith gets tripped up. And Reagan Holt serves now. A really impressive 96% serving percentage. That gets served right to the linesman. And Holt sends it over LeBeau. Jaden Smith, Brittany Smith blocked. Smith sends it back again. Bell to Boswell. And on the other side, Harms blocked by Brittany Smith. 14 kills for her as she comes onto the bench. Irick to serve now. Irick and Thompson both in the junior varsity game before this one, pulling double duty. So impressive to be able to play two games back to back like that. Harms varies up the pacing. Mueller pushed over by Smith with the free ball. Jones out to Harms. And Christopher keeps it up. Thompson, Mueller on the other side. That keeps going. Jones, Harms, past Christopher. And out. All the fundamentals just clicked there for the Red Hawks. The stars aligned, and they did everything flawlessly. If you're Coach Chad McKee, you love that as that serve skips off the net. Maybe not love that so much as Thompson has to push it over, coming well out of her position. Boswell sets up harms. What a beauty. That's about as clean a kill as you'll ever see. Maddie Torelli to serve now. Mueller Smith pushes it over. No one commands the free ball like Jaden Smith. She just has the sixth sense about when to set someone up for a kill and when to push it over herself. 
and you cannot teach that. Serve just over the line. Jaden Smith and Brittany Smith, both seniors, are going to be big losses for this Red Hawks program after this season. But there is a lot of young talent on this team, and they're poised to be in great shape next year as Bailey Mueller will likely headline next year's team. Blocks at the net. However, there's contact with the net, and that goes the Tigers' way. Harms serves. Mueller, Smith, other side to Sanger, blocked LeBeau. Smith over to Mueller, blocked again, goes out. Cadence Christopher coming off for Haley Owens. And Bailey Mueller will serve. Skips off the net, but it keeps going. Boswell into the net. So before the game, I asked Chad McKee, what do you like about Broken Arrow? And he said, and I quote, there's a lot to like about the Tigers. He said they have an incredible coaching staff and a very large one as well. There's five coaches for the Broken Arrow Tigers. He said they have top-level club talent. He said they're an easy team to root for. He's just not rooting for them tonight. As Sanger gets blocked at the net. And really, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, is the spirit of competition and the spirit of friendly competition. The fact that these two teams, who are bitter rivals in many sports, can look across the aisle and say, yeah, there's a lot I like about them. And if we weren't on opposing side to the net, we might even be friends. In fact, I think they are friends off of the court, but you know what I mean. Remember, kids, here's a life lesson. The key to good sportsmanship is not rooting for any one team to lose, but rooting for any one team to win. Sanger pops it up. So does Smith, and Sanger pushes it over. Grace Marshall gets the kill. That game plan for Broken Arrow really starting to become evident. They're doing so much attacking from the sides throughout this game. Trying to avoid the middle entirely because they know that's where Brittany Smith's going to be. It's funny how after an hour and a half or so you start putting the puzzle pieces together. Man, I could be a coach. Now, there's a lot that goes into being a good coach, let me tell you. And both of these teams have great coaching staffs. So Smith sets up Brittany Smith for the kill. 15 kills for Brittany Smith. The blonde Godzilla continues to stomp all over the Tigers. Speaking of, anyone else out there see that uh, trailer for the new Godzilla movie? Looks great. And Union gets another point. Clawing up to four. LeBeau's serve skips over the net. Torelli sets up Boswell, blocked by Smith, but it goes out. Broken arrow point. So Boswell will get to serve now. Smith and Owens just barely couldn't push it over. Timeout taken by Union now. I just want to take this moment to recognize the incredible and incredibly talented crew we have here at the Union Sports Network. Andy Irwin, our director and producer. Union students Sydney and Kyla 
on the two cameras that you're seeing throughout this game. The Union Sports Network, a dual professional and student-run organization, teaching these kids all the ins and outs of sports production. And there's some real talent here that we're able to work with. And I say it every game, the production quality that we're able to bring to you at home is really unparalleled. And we thank you so very much for joining us for each and every one of these contests live on the Union Sports Network. Of course, myself, Sam Gelfand here. As the timeout about to expire. Lily Boswell will keep things going. Sanger back the other way. Owens gets it inside. Ellie Owens with great presence of mind. And Chad McKee smiling, hoping that the timeout paid dividends. Blocked at the net by Smith. Owens sends it over. Jones sent up and over by Harms. Brittany Smith falls on the other side of the net. A sweet 16 kills for Brittany Smith. It's almost unfair. Boswell then tipped over. Smith and Brittany Smith with the incredible power. Brittany Smith, a veritable muscle car. Broken Arrow may be the Tigers, but Brittany Smith's got all the power of a Dodge Hellcat. Red Hawks keeping it between within four. Thompson digs. Owens and Smith. Bit of miscommunication with Thompson there. Harms to Owens. Punched up by Smith. Boswell, Jones. And sent over by Torelli and out. Kill goes to Matty Torelli. Union certainly deserves credit for hanging in all game with the Tigers, who once again are ranked number five in the entirety of 6A all across Oklahoma. They've really been putting on a close competition. Broken Arrow, of course, you can't forget the defending regional champions as well. Broken Arrow, a much more experienced team with three players who are in their fourth year of varsity service. Coach Bolin was telling me before this game, many of these players have been in Broken Arrow's system since they were in seventh grade. That is a long time to learn a playbook and get to gel with a coaching staff and teammates and whatnot, and that's a luxury that many of these players on Union haven't had. LeBeau with a great dig. Smith, I got it. Cut to the booth camp. This is what we have it for. I caught it. <laughs> Who do I have to give this to now? <laughs> oh, that brought me back to my junior varsity baseball days, catching pop-ups. Smith and Brittany Smith, the one-two punch. Boswell on the other side. 
another block by this Union team. Their blocking has been much better than we've seen it in the past in this game. And Brittany Smith is no less electric. Sarah Eirick will serve now. Boswell on the other side, and Torelli gets it past Thompson. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, our next broadcast you are not going to want to miss tomorrow, 7.30, Backyard Ball, Union. Jenks, one of the biggest high school football rivalries in the entire country. The next time we'll see you for volleyball here on the Union Sports Network will be on the 14th. That'll be at 6.30 against Coweta. Head coach Bolin of Broken Arrow actually was the Coweta head coach for 14 years until 2015. Everything comes around full circle. As Billy Mueller blocked at the net. Bell and sent into the net by Torelli. Boy, that backyard ball should be some game tomorrow. You know, my first ever Oklahoma high school football game was the backyard ball last year. Had no idea how important it actually was. It's kind of undersold for me until I actually showed up to the game and was like, wow, there's 10,000 people here. Wonderful block by Courtney Kincaid coming off the bench. Boswell, Christopher Diggs, sent across to the other side to Mueller and out. That's a, that's a true story, by the way. I covered the Backyard Bowl last year in my former capacity as a reporter with Channel 8, and they kind of just told me, oh, it's this big high school football game. No more details than that. I show up and Union tells me, oh, you know, it's one of the biggest rivalries in the country. And I'm like, everyone thinks a rivalry is big. Little did I know. And now Broken Arrow must call the timeout as it's 22 to 20. And Union does not want to go gently into that good night. And a violation sends it Broken Arrow's way, and that is not what the Red Hawks wanted to see. So close, hanging on the precipice of defeat. They're on the cliff. They've got a few fingers left. Well, technically, they got two fingers left because they've only got two points left. Clinging on for dear life. Mueller on the other side. Jones sends it into the crowd, into the student section. A great catch by a Union student. Kill for Mueller, number eight for her. Unfortunately, this is not baseball. If the volleyball goes into the crowd, you cannot keep it as a souvenir. We do need that back. And Jones has to send it over in some desperation, and it's a foot over the line. Union's within one. There is some tension ratcheting up here in the gym. As a couple of towels are down on the court to clear off a wet spot. And now it's the job of Union not to lose that fire.
They gotta stay hot here. They just need three points to send this to the fourth set. Mueller serves. And Lily Boswell with an excellent kill. Lily Boswell sends the Tigers to set and match point. Union has one timeout left and they will use it. In one minute, ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. This is what sports are all about. Set point, match point. Union needs three points to send this to a set number four. Broken Arrow just needs one to win it. And they get it. That's all she wrote. The Broken Arrow Tigers have secured the victory against your Union Red Hawks. A hard fought contest. And at the end of the day, strategy is what won out. It was the excellent coaching of Ian Bullen, who was able to neutralize the threat posed by Brittany Smith, who still put up 19 kills in this game, able to attack from the sides and get rid of that threat from the middle blocker position. That's all we have time for here on the Union Sports Network. Thank you so very much for joining this telecast of the OSSAA. My name is Sam Gelfand, and on behalf of everyone here at the Union Sports Network and the OSSAA, have a very good night wherever you may be. Mm -hmm.